Hi, my name is Aljay de Guzman. I'm the Director of Enterprise Infrastructure Solutions here at LearningTree. For Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I wanted to share my thoughts on what multi-factor authentication is, some challenges, and what to look for in a solution. Now, what is multi-factor authentication? It really means it's a security approach that requires users to provide more than one identity factor before accessing their data. Some identity factors include what a user knows, which is their password, what a user has, which is like a hard token, smart card, or a soft token on their phone, and what a user is. That includes their fingerprint or uh, your retinal scan. Now, organizations that are either implementing or looking to implement will face some challenges when trying to do multi-factor authentication. And I'm gonna talk about three things. One would be the complexity. Each organization, large or small, um, will have some systems that are running really old, like Windows XP, um, or they will have users that require um, some Linux, uh, for example. Um, you know, there may be some compatibility issues when you are trying to implement that. So, you know, that's the uh, really big thing when you, when you think about multi-factor. Um, there's another challenge with complexity would be when you are trying to deploy a soft token. Um, some phones need to have a uh, the latest and greatest operating system on their phone before downloading the app. So you need to have... Um, either a new phone, hopefully, or get a new, um, or you need to get a hard token. Um, so those are some complexities because that changes things around. Um, which leads me to the second challenge is, is the possession factor. That possession factor is what the user has. Um, so it is a challenge for organizations to deploy that piece because either they're going hard token or they're going soft token, which is a software app on their phone. Um, depending on the the need or the the type of security, um, organizations will face um, deploying both. Um, and the third challenge, which kind of encompasses the first two, um, is the cost. Now, these solutions are you know latest and greatest they are they are super secure so you know and they're mostly cloud-based so you would probably need to talk about and think about the costs because they do charge per user some charge by multi-factor some charge by um, data center or by site so um, depending on how big your organization is that will um, be pretty pricey. Um, on top of the possession, um, you know, if you're trying to deploy these hard tokens, you, you're going to have to shop around for some tokens, um, which hopefully you don't have to buy too much, or if you do, um, it could be pretty pricey. Now, I want to talk about some things when you, if you are in the market for um, a solution, there's some things you need to keep an eye out on when you are in your research phase. Um, one would be the user experience. Now, you know, as a user, as a user myself, right? Um, you need to think about how easy it would be for users to access their data um, in the most secure way. So most solutions today um, are thinking about that, but they have different flavors of this. So. You know, is it by single sign-on, or is it by uh, multiple passwords, multiple identities? So you want to think about how how your users will be accessing their data when you're implementing multi-factor. Um, a second thing to keep an eye out on would be the security piece. Um, MFA is all about adding that security layer in your system. So, you know, you want to think about, um, you know, a solid enforcement of strong passwords. You want to 
think about you know a support for modern security protocols um, you also want to think about security policies and how easy it is could it be easy to implement security policies could it be by application could it be by groups could it be by uh, location you know you want to think about um, those type of things when you're um, looking and implementing a solution um, and a third thing I want to mention when you are looking for a solution is future proofing and why I say that is because there are some organizations that are that require app uh, security appliances they are requiring uh, they're looking to move out from a data center they want to go into a public cloud offering so um, in a multi-factor solution you you want to think about you know what it is uh, going forward uh, when, you, when, when you implement this um, are you trying to add more uh, more footprint in your in your data center or are you trying to reduce it or are you trying to get away and just go all cloud um, or and you want to also want to think about you know would this be a, a future landing page or, or a future point of access for all data going forward um, and that's what I mean by future proofing more and more companies today are actually looking to implement this because it's not just for what I just mentioned, but it's also a compliance reason as well. Um, so, you know, these are, it's, it's a really hot topic nowadays. And, you know, I think more and more companies are going to do this uh, going forward. Um, if you're interested in reading more about what MFA is, I did write a blog about this in detail. Uh, and it's called MFA Challenges and What to Look for in a Solution, which I've kind of uh, wrote about more in detail um, about adoption and challenges and looking for a solution. So if you're interested in reading more cyber content, uh, you can visit the uh, Learning Tree Cyber Month landing page on learningtree.com slash cyber2018 for my blog and other blogs related to security. Uh, and security information and certification information. Um, thanks for watching, and, and I hope you like my blog. Enjoy.